Hey you right guys, Trey from Just Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 23 of Friends Season 3. This one is called The One with Ross's Thing. So I mean, he could whip out his penis on the table, I don't really know. Last episode was good, we had Ben Silla screaming his actual head off, which was insane, and I thought he was going to kill uh, the chick and the duck again. So if the chick and the duck are in danger three episodes in a row, I'm going to start having heart attacks or heart palpitations, so maybe uh, maybe they can just lay off with may making me think that the chick's about to be stepped on or squished, um, but we shall see. So yeah, we're kind of coming towards the end. We have two episodes after this one, and then we are done with season three, which is mad, but episode 23, guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like if you're new, remember to subscribe, and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to friends, then link to the Patreon page will be in the description, and one of the comments down below by the time this one's on YouTube, uh, Patreon will be quite a few episodes into season four so like I said that'll be down below and in the pinned comment will be a link to the charity for the month so make sure to click that if you want more information on what that is but for now episode 23 let's do this I was starting off with the dog I mean I mean like a thing on my body well, where was it well I, I don't know it's it's kind of in a place that's not it's not visually accessible to me and I was Hoping maybe you guys could could help me. Oh, out. we're doing Why? this. We're doing yeah. this. Come on, you guys, no big deal. Uh -huh. Just die. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> huh? Well, what is it? Is it a mole? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ross. Why don't you just hey go guys, see it? Okay. <laughs> and then uh, this is the coffee house. This is where I play my music. It's Phoebe Day and someone else now. It's like He's Monica Day, someone people? Phoebe. This is Vince, Vince. And Ross is sleeping yeah. with someone. Chandler's dating someone else. Joey's dating. They're all just dating 50,000 wow. people. Have you ever rescued anyone from a burning building before? Phoebe? But I thought you just started dating the kindergarten teacher. Oh, Jason? Yeah, yeah uh huh. We're seeing each other tonight. <clears throat> right. Well, there you go. <laughs> my point is proven. Two dates in one day? That's so unlike you. I know, I know. I'm like playing the field. Phoebe, do they know about each other? <laughs> Does a dog's lips move when he reads? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, okay. I really don't know. Pete's breaking up with me. What? what? Oh, okay. Well, it's all I right. I just checked my messages and... According to friends, we'll give it two apps before you date someone else. We'll never say we need to talk unless it's something bad. Whoa, that doesn't necessarily mean he's breaking up with you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, maybe he just cheated on you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, that's not a third nipple. Hmm? First of all, it's on your ass. <laughs> Well, then what is That's it? That's someone there is. Wait a minute. Hold it. Jansen, will you come in here a moment? I'm with Hamilton. He's good with weird things. Bring him in, too. <laughs> His face. Hey, you know what? what is going on? You know, I have dinner plans. I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> I was just letting this happen. But hey, guys, you're not supposed to be here, so please do not touch anything. Ah, Kia, this is comfortable. This place is amazing. Oh, God, that is the nicest this kitchen. This set is so good. No, but it's the nicest kitchen. The refrigerator told me to have a great day. Look at this, a millionaire's checkbook. Joey, put that down. Oh, we're all going to ruining his okay, business. How the hell do you answer a video phone? Monica? <laughs> I guess that's how. Oh, to Hugo Lindgren's ring design. Oh, sorry. Uh, what do you think the good news is? <laughs> oh, my. Monica's gonna marry a millionaire! No, no. Oh, that can't... That on, cannot happen Hello? already. We've only been going out a couple of weeks. I mean, we don't even know if he's gonna... A couple of yes, weeks? Okay, he's no, Pete... Like other people. No, on your first happen. date, he took you to Rome. For most guys, that's like a... Third or fourth date kind of thing. Monica's right. We're talking about getting married here, okay? She, she can't just rush into this. Oh, what do you know? You married a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cold. All right, I gotta go oh. and break up with Vince. Is Vince here? Oh, sure. Vince! Yo! <laughs> wow. I you guys actually What the fuck? Well, what's up? I don't think we should see each other anymore. I thought we had something pretty special here. And, and you know, I, I felt like you were someone I could finally open up to. And uh, there's so much in me I haven't shared with you yet. Ooh. Oh, my God. I, I'm sorry. I can't talk. 
I'm gonna go write in my journal. <laughs> the other journal, Stefan Salvatore, you dumped it. Wait, wait, wait. And I know it's a little sudden and it's a little rushed and it's totally not like me to do something like this, but that doesn't mean I can't, right? Monica, take you definitely should not do this if it's not gonna be the th he's not gonna propose. There's no <laughs> Because I have to break up with someone and Okay, so Jason is sensitive, but now so's Vince. Plus, Vince has the body, you know? So... <laughs> Fair enough. It's really just about the math. Jason? Yeah, come on in. Oh, he's gonna have his shirt off and he's gonna be henching Yep. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Phoebe, you uh, sounded kind of serious on the phone. Is, uh, is anything wrong? Nuh-uh. <laughs> Come on, have a seat. That one laugh, did you hear it? There's one guy in the back. <laughs> we appear to have angered it. We, we angered Is he fingering it off? What's going on? Oh. Ooh, nice. <laughs> romantic lights, so you can't I even really see where, where you go. Okay. I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> well, uh, it's not him, guys. It's thinking. not going to be him. It's, yeah. Now I, I have the most beautiful woman in the world. So... No. There's one thing missing. Which is... It's time for me to conquer the physical world. Okay. Monica, I want to become... Well, I am The not. ultimate fighting champion. You want to what? the most intense physical competition in the world. It's banned in 49 states. What are you talking about? Okay, my trainer, Hochi, is teaching me a combination of Jeet Kune Do and Brazilian street fighting. I even had my own... This is the last thing resume. I would have gone with. And I suppose you used a ring designer for that. I want you close enough to smell the blood. <laughs> what, what, uh, what just happened? What the fuck? Crazy underwear creeping at my butt. <laughs> Oh, oh no. God. What is he doing here? I right, just keep playing. Just keep playing. You'll get through this. You'll be fine. Right. She's done well to be fair. They're both like fair play Phoebe. Okay, thank you. Hey. I was just passing by and saw you were playing tonight. It's kinda cool seeing you up there. Yeah, well. Whoa, hey, hey. Oh dear, 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 dear. Okay, I've, I've been dating both of you. And it's been really horrible. Because, you know, it's been a lot of fun for me. I like you both. And I, and I didn't know how to choose. So, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm terrible. I'm a terrible person. I'm terrible. Phoebe, Phoebe, relax. It's okay. I mean, we never said this was exclusive. Yeah, neither did we. <laughs> Give yourself a break. Right. Really? Is that that? Yeah, I mean, you know, we haven't been going out that long. Come on, we, we haven't even slept together yet. <laughs> you haven't? <laughs> Ooh. You have. I made you a candlelight dinner in the park. <laughs> you know, Phoebe, I'm going to make this real easy for you. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that could have been really awkward. <laughs> You made him a candlelight dinner in the park? Oh, God. Yeah, but I, 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 I can do that for you. I'm going to do that for you. Uh, yeah, I can't believe I ever went out with somebody who would actually have an open flame in the middle of a wooded area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See, that's all I've got. That was class. Oh. <laughs> Why is that like one of the funniest jokes I've done? Fuck's sake. Whoa! He's supposed to be a duck, right? Because otherwise this is way out of my league. Yeah, yeah, he's got a he's got a really bad cough. They killed the dog. Do oh, he's dying. The dog's dying. Hmm. Watch, watch. See. I've been waiting for it, so it's gonna here Let we go. Let me see. Do you think you could get him to eat a bat? <laughs> hey, the duck ain't dying yet. Yet. Matter of time, someone's stepping on it, stepping on his neck. 
All right, there we go, guys. That is episode 23 of Friends Season 3. I really enjoyed this episode. This had some funny moments. I, I, I think two of the stories were really strong, and then one was kind of... Eh. Like, again, the title was the weakest part, the one with Ross's thing. That was, Ross was by far the weakest part of this episode, whereas Monica and Phoebe... Especially Phoebe, actually, <laughs> uh, really, really nailed this one. Like, this was one of Phoebe's best episodes. Not in terms of, like, character growth or anything like that, but just in terms of, like, it being enjoyable and a fun storyline, this is one of the best episodes for sure. Like, just juggling uh, this guy who she thought was sensitive and this guy who had the great body, and then she realised that they both had those things opposite as well. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it, but, you know, she, she, fair play to her. She tried to, she tried to play it off, but uh, kind of failed miserably in the end there, but... Uh, yeah, that, that took me off guard. That, that's, it's like, I can't believe you'd have an open flame in a warded area. Like, he's not even fuming about anything else. That's what that's what he's pissed off about. That's class. But yeah, I really, really like Phoebe this episode. And uh, Monica, like, the whole episode, her thinking that John Favreau was going to propose to her. We knew it wasn't going to happen. But I think it does show, in a way, how much Monica really, really wants to just be married. I know we know this anyway, because she's mentioned it to uh, the other, Richard how much she wants to be married and have kids and how much she wants that kind of life. I don't know, like, the fact she's been dating this guy for two weeks and she's already buzzing off the fact that he could be proposing, it's just like, oh, God, like... I'm not saying it's bad storytelling-wise, it's just like... I don't think they have that much, much chemistry. I do like his character, he's not bad, but I do think she had more chemistry with um, Richard, for sure. I never thought I'd say that, but I do think that was definitely the case. Uh, and then Ross was fine, you know, I didn't find it that funny, it was just... Yeah, he had some on his arse, and then the guru got rid of it with his watch. <laughs> cool, so that was definitely the weakest part of the episode. I wouldn't even say that was remotely entertaining, uh, but the other two were really, really good. So, yeah, it's one of those episodes. It's like you have two very strong storylines and then one very weak one. So, rating-wise, I'm going to go a 7.5 out of 10. I think it would have been an 8. Phoebe's storyline was an 8. Monica's storyline was an 8. Ross's was, like, a 6. Um, so I'll go 7.5 out of 10 overall. Uh, I don't feel like Joey and Chandler really did anything of significance this episode, so it's not really... And Rachel as well, actually. I uh, didn't really do much, but... Yeah, it was, it was a good episode. Two more episodes to go. The, the next one's called the one with the ultimate fighting champion, so that's going to be uh, regarding Monica and Jon Favreau already. <laughs> already he's going to be doing that, so... I want you close enough to smell the blood. <laughs> How romantic. Two episodes left, and then we'll go through the best episodes of the season. Uh, and talk about it overall, but I've, you guys know I've really, really enjoyed this one so far. I'm excited to see what the hype around season... I think most people are saying seasons 4, 5, and 6 are insanely good, so I'm very excited to see what... Because we, I guess after this season, we're one-third of the way through. I know technically not, because season 10 doesn't really work in the maths there, maths there but I'm going to say we're basically one-third of the way through, because season... I was about to say season 10 is quite short, but it really actually is not that short. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> there we go guys, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments, and if you want early and uncut reactions to Friends, then link to Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below, where like I said, there should be a few episodes into Season 4, and in the pinned comment will be a link to the charity for the month, so make sure to click that link if you want more information on what that is, and I'll see you next time for Episode 24, the penultimate episode, Season 3. Until then, peace.